In the House of Commons, Conservative leader Pierre Poilievre delivered a lengthy speech in an attempt to delay the adoption of the federal budget. I am rising today to speak and to speak and to speak for the people who have no voice. The people who are, ha have been silenced for too long. The leader's filibuster lasted more than three and a half hours before the House adjourned for the evening. Earlier Wednesday, Poiliev said he would speak non-stop to block the budget's passage until the Prime Minister commits to a balanced budget. On Monday, Finance Minister Christian Freeland called the Conservative Party tactics adolescent, partisan games and parliamentary childishness. Yesterday I spoke for four hours to stop the inflationary tax-hiking Trudeau budget. Now, I did this uh, not just because I disagree with the irresponsible overspending that has caused the inflation, I long believed that, but because I believe we're headed to a very serious crisis. Since the Prime Minister introduced his budget, there have been three major developments. One, the International Monetary Fund has identified Canada as the country most at risk of a mortgage meltdown, because we have uh, the biggest household debt of any country in the G7. Two trillion dollars of household debt. In fact, our households have as much debt as the entire GDP combined. When, second, inflation is now again on the rise. Something the Prime Minister promised was not going to happen. He claimed inflation was just going to fall. Now it's rising. A surprise when you pour tens of billions of dollars more of spending into the economy, you get more inflation. And th third, the unexpected increase in interest rates that is going to be another uppercut to overly indebted Canadians who already can't afford their bills. I want you to think about this for a second. If, this is, if you have a family that's paying $3,000 a month on mortgages and they experience what the Bank of Canada projects will be a 40% increase in their monthly mortgage payment, that's $1,300 a month, which is almost $15,000 a year when half of our households don't even have $200 left in their bank account. What is going to happen over the next three years as all of these mega mortgages renew at these higher rates? We're going to have defaults. We're going to have mass fire sales of homes as people uh, can't make their payment and all they can do is put their house in the market but there won't be anyone to buy them because no one else can afford to pay the rates either. This could be a major financial meltdown. This is not me saying it, it's the IMF. It's the Bank of Canada. And the Prime Minister has to recognize these facts have changed since he introduced his budget. And so I'm calling on him to do the honourable thing, to put aside his pride and his personal ego and cancel this budget.